Hello everyone. Welcome back to the second part of the Aryan Invasion Theory. If you haven't seen the first part, then I'll put a link to it. Anyway, today we will be explaining to everyone the reason behind the AIT's creation. Hopefully, everyone has heard of the strategy Divide and Rule, a strategy that has been used to disband or interfere unity between people, groups, or nations. You may be questioning why I've stated Divide and Rule in a video about history, right? Well, this conquering strategy used by many war tacticians have known to play a great role in dividing a whole group into a hierarchy, while also placing hatred in between their relations. As I stated previously, the AIT had stated that modern-day Aryans, North Indian people, are the descendants of the Aryan invaders from the east. It was said that the Aryans had pushed the Dravidians towards the south of India and had them stay there. One thing I wanted to add was that the South Indians had a higher concentration of pigment for their skin, and it takes longer than 14,000 years of it any visible genetic mutation like that to occur within a well-developed species, meaning that South Indians that used to be living up in the northern areas of India, a particularly cold region, would mean that they have lighter skin tones, which is clearly not the case. Right, people. Before the video starts, make sure to subscribe to our channel, like the video, and also, of course, watch the video till the end. Or you're going to miss out on the crucial information. From India, a lot of the people had moved out towards Northern Asia, Europe, Southeast and East Asia, Oceania and American regions. Obviously many different genetic groups were brought about during the immigration into India, but the main genetic group came from the Indian subcontinent, which later transferred into every other race in humanity. Why has this Western narrative been pushed out? Now, this theory has been pushed out even after it's been debunked, and a lot of texts still believe it, including a lot of South Indians. As I stated earlier, after the Out of Africa movement, many of the tribes moved into India first, as it was near perfect climate and geography to live in. During the colonial period, when India was taken over by a few different kingdoms, mainly setting Portugal and Britain, the German researcher found that one European genetic type that was very common in Indians leading to the knowledge that Europeans originated from the Indian R1A haplogroup, which resulted in him being disgusted at this fact, as darker-skinned people were referred to being disgusted in the past. So, Max Muller created this Aryan invasion theory to try and place a false narrative about Europeans, mostly Germans, being the supreme race, which also allowed colonizers to create racial diversion between the South and Northern Indians. This diversion was a big deal as it would separate how the individuals would think and respond to situations, which also slowed down the independence movement. Even now, it is fairly pushed out to the public, even in India. Till this day, many South Indians and North Indians have scuffles over this issue. Why do people still believe in it? The Iron Invasion Theory was of course a European narrative, to support their fake reasoning as to why the Europeans are the purest humans. Clearly, the real reason behind the Iron Invasion Theory was to separate the North and South Indians, as they realised that the unity between everyone will not allow the British to invade. With that said, the AIT is never going to leave the minds of people who are influenced by this narrative, as they've made it logical enough for the public to understand. Until you dig deep enough, you won't realise how fake this theory actually is. In conclusion, the Iron Invasion Theory, a European narrative made by Max Muller, a German philologist, has stated that there was an invasion that occurred into the Indian subcontinent during the 1800s to 1500 BCE, hence the diverse physical appearance in Indian genes. However, this was later found that there was no such invasion into India by any Aryan invaders. By looking through archaeological surveys and the original genetic origin of the Indo-Aryans, as well as the Dravidian people of India, this shows the absolute intelligence of the Europeans during colonial times, when they wanted to dismantle kingdoms and united civilizations.